everyone, my name is Birdie and I am your friendly neighborhood forest witch and in today's video I'm going to be decorating my altar for Ostara. Now if you saw my video of last year's altar you'll know that I went with a darker color scheme and I used some mosses and wood tones so it was more earthy looking. If you missed that one I'll link it up above here and down in the description but this year I want to go more traditional with my color scheme and use pastels and as far as decor I'll be using a bunny or two of course maybe even some carrots and then I also want to use some fresh info flowers some pastel colored candles some corresponding crystals and all things spring now right now my altar is a complete mess. <laughs> I actually still have decor up from Lupercalia and I've been doing a lot of spell work. So it's just, it's very messy and it needs cleaned. So I thought I would show it to you all messy. We could clean it together and then of course decorate. So without further ado, let's see this mess. So this is what my altar currently looks like. I have stuff everywhere coffee beans, candles, Lupercalia decor, dead roses, uh, crystals everywhere. So I definitely want to go ahead and clean this up and then cleanse the space. So let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> Spirals will be here by dawn 
And this is how my altar turned out. I have the faux pink flowers up top there, then some beautiful purple daisies. I also put some faux eggs inside this little jar with a carrot from Dollar Tree and a miniature bunny. And then I have some rosemary and peppermint. This beautiful candle here is from my dear friend that she made me. It is so beautiful. I love it. She also gave me this crystal and I have my snail crystal ball and I changed my witch's calendar to March. Then up above here, I have the wreath I made several years ago with my pentagram. Then down below here, I added this yellow candle from Dollar Tree. I also have these beautiful crystals from the same friend and some more bunnies. Then I have a matching green candle there. And this time I added my Gordon notebook back to the altar because since spring is here, I'm going to be working on my garden. So I got that journal out. I also included my aviary book because I want to learn more about some birds. And then I also have the Witch's Herbal Apothecary. And then specifically, chapter four delves into earth magic and medicine of spring. So I thought that would be perfect to add to the altar. And then I have my chalice of water, my little Taurus globe here. Not sure if that's coming up on camera or not. My earth mother statue, my cauldron, of course, and then my wand and my athame. And then last but not least, I've adorned my altar with some amethyst fairy lights and I turned them off so you'll be able to see them. But I got these at Michael's and they're actually amethyst crystals and I just love these so much. They're so beautiful. I hope you all enjoyed this video and maybe got some ideas for your Ostara altar as well. I think it turned out really pretty and I can't wait to utilize my altar on the Sabbath. I want to wish everyone a blessed Ostara and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Thanks guys. Bye!